Nebraska's Tommy Frazier, whose next challenge is to prove to the NFL he is for real. These fine seniors and many more are on center stage as ESPN is proud to bring you the East-West Shrine Classic. What you may not know is that Tommy has been successfully running the option attack since he was nine years old. In fact, over the past 12 years, he has lost a total, now get this, of nine football games. But that will change today because you're not allowed to run the option in an all-star game. But don't fret for Tommy Frazier. Remember, he's beaten the odds throughout his college career. In fact, take a look. Four years ago when he entered Nebraska, he told the coaches, I've got seven objectives I want to fulfill. The first was start as a freshman. Secondly, be all big eight by my sophomore year. Third, I'd like to be an All-American. He was. I'd like to play for a national championship, preferably against a Florida school. He did that three times. I'd like to win a national title. He did that twice. I'd like to win the Heisman Trophy. Well, he missed one. And he'd like to get his degree, which he will do in May. Six out of seven isn't bad. And Tommy Frazier's final objective in life is to play quarterback in the National Football League. And at halftime, we're going to visit with Tommy, and he'll tell us how he plans to make that dream come true. Ron? Okay. It's a problem that you'll have if you're Tommy Frazier getting balls knocked down at the line of scrimmage. But remember this, for everyone he gets knocked down, he's going to make a big play. I think what Cordell Stewart did for option quarterbacks this year with the Pittsburgh Steelers, he's helped them immensely in the draft. And I think Tommy Frazier will be drafted. Third down situation. Frazier. Because he may have got there just a little bit too early. But Tommy Frazier shows good form and, uh, and good poise in the pocket. He goes back to pass, gets good protection from this offensive line, but when I went to watch him last year in spring practice, he's throwing the ball a lot better. He's more confident. Comes passing. over to put the stop on him. The one thing about Frazier, too, Mike, when you watch him, the things he's going to have to do in the NFL, he really wasn't accustomed to do in Nebraska, so you're going to have to draft him and mold him into an NFL quarterback. With the system that's presently in place, after three years, you lose a draft a choice that was maybe a, a second, third rounder to another team through free agency. So that is what really affects the way teams think come draft day about guys that need time. He thought this was a reward for winning the most valuable player of the Rice Bowl, the uh, the college championship game in Japan. Before, of course, Gil Brandt picked uh, players for the Dallas Cowboys and Tex Schramm and Tom Landry for many years. I said, would you draft Tommy Frazier? He said, yes, in a minute. He said, watching him this week, he's like the Cadillac of the quarterbacks out here. And the other thing about him is, Mel, when I just watched him run, his running ability, his strong lower body. I mean, he runs like a good running back. So, uh, Impressive throw. Now, he's thrown two passes here. One, a deep throw where he was right on the money. Now, here's where he excels, getting out of the pocket on the corner, trying to get the ball to Mark Harris, number 82. You're going to see him break it out. Good route against Tony Dorsett, Jr. Good catch, good zip on the ball, good motion by Tommy Frazier. I think Tommy Frazier is impressing. He's impressing me. I don't know if he's impressing these scouts. Mikey's 4 of 8 for 25 yards. We were watching him during the warm-up. He is so natural and fluid when he rolls out. He's a little bit of a duck out of water on a straight drop back. He's not as accustomed to doing that. That's the important thing, too, Ryan. I think, you know, when you look at Tommy Frazier, the things that he did in college, he's not going to be forced to do in the NFL or he's going to have to adapt to a new system. I think when you compare him to Stewart, Cordell Stewart went to the combine. Mike ran a 4-4-3 at a 38 vertical. Everybody knew what kind of athletic ability he had. Plus, he wanted to play another position if it was open. He was open to helping the football team. If Tommy Frazier's adamant about being a quarterback, you know, is he going to be receptive to a move to another position early in his career? That's something Thing really that the scouts gonna have to find out as they go through the interview process but you know right away he's not the kind of kid who's going to step into the national football they can be a quarterback if they want to take advantage of that athletic athletic ability in the nfl they're gonna have to do it at a running back position you know and when you look at the pros though they're not sure in the first quarter 22 yards rushing and 25 yards passing you know the thing is deceptive about him he's six foot two uh 205 pounds and that running ability you just I'll tell you who's going to miss him Tom Osborne and the Nebraska fans because all he has done is won for Tom and that program he's been a great representative it's a strong safety combination guy weak side coverage linebacker but he's got some athletic ability pulled down to Tommy Frazier best back that comes out of this whole process Tommy Frazier getting by the pressure now unloads it long and it is the Fiesta Bowl coach, and what a great job, by the way. Have you ever seen a better performance by a player than what Tommy Frazier put on that night? I never have. Uh, I thought that the Nebraska team was absolutely awesome. Uh, I'm not sure they're not the best college football team I've ever seen. Uh, 
uh, to take the number two in the co team in the country like they did and totally dominate them in every category was really an impressive thing. And, and this guy, Tommy Frazier, just took the game over along with Lawrence Phillips and, uh, and that offensive line and that great defense, and it was over. Hey, Coach, congratulations on a great career as a coach, and uh, best of luck to you in the booth. Uh, this it's guy's good a dangerous player. There he is, right there. Hit it. There you go. What I tell you? Uh, Tommy Frazier's a good player now. What about Tommy Frazier? I mean, the question is, can he play quarterback in the NFL? Well, I think in the right system, he can. I, I think that uh, somebody will take him uh, and put him in the right system and utilize his legs and utilize his arm strength, and I think he can play in the NFL. I really do. He's impressed a lot of people this week with his arm strength. I think he surprised some people. I think he has a much stronger arm than anybody imagined. And, and uh, in looking at him on the practice field, uh, the pro scouts were kind of buzzing about the strength of his arm and how quick he gets rid of the ball. And uh, I'll tell you what, he's a magical player. I, I think he's just outstanding. He's such a leader on the field. He's very quiet off the field, but he gets in that huddle and really leads his, his offense. He does, and we, let, we, we wanted him to play in the field. We wanted him to play in the fourth quarter because uh, I wanted our best best player on the whole team to be, make sure he was in control of the game in the fourth quarter, and that's why we got him in there. Coach, i got to ask you, 25 years he stood on the sidelines, and come Monday, you're, you're not going to have a place to stand. What do you, What kind of plans do you have? What do you do? Well, I'm, I'm, i got a lot of work to do. I'm going to, uh, you know, all kinds of things. I'm going to start life over again after 25 years. Step up when it's on the line and he throws a 37-yard strike to Charlie Jones right down the middle to put him in a position here to, to get more points. Well, the reason I'm impressed with him is you have an all-star game like this, and you can think of, there's been two drives in this ball game. One where he had the touchdown early in the first half. He drove his team down the field. He's on the second one right now to take his team to a lead if he can get him in in the end zone for the touchdown. But uh, he, when you talk about all the intangibles of being a leader and the quarterback and ability, I mean, he has it all. Fourth down and they're going to go for it. This may be some play here where Tommy Frazier gets outside where he can run or pass. Well, he gets it complete. That's Andre Davis. Fakes it to Davis. Now he's going to keep it himself, and Frazier will score. The pro personnel directors are going to burn the midnight oil on Tommy Frazier because all he does is win. And you'll never convince me, Mel, no one will ever convinced me Charlie Ward couldn't have been a pro quarterback because I felt like Charlie Ward is a magical player, too. But Tommy Frazier just makes it happen, misdirection play, and that running back skill that he has as a quarterback in the end zone. Well, the uh, West missed that extra point earlier, and so they're going to go for two, trying to make it 21 to 18. There he is, and he got it. By the way, guys, the numbers on Frazier on the drive. He ran five yards for the touchdown, and he passed. He was four of six for 75 yards. Well, he led another drive. He waits till Don Blair gets inside of Marco Maddox for the throw and then just put enough mustard on that throw to get it right NFL, in. And I can prove to these guys today that I can play. Are you proving it? Well, I hope so. I'm just going out there having fun and doing the things I know I do best. And hopefully God is, God is on my, behind me and good things are going to happen from this game. The touchdown, was that a call boot by you? Oh, yeah, that's, that was a call boot by, by the coaches. We've been looking at it. We ran that play a couple of times, and the defense end on the back side wasn't. He was just staying on the line, so they felt that I could fake it and keep it and get to the outside. Cordell Stewart told you earlier in the year that you need to prove you got an arm. you got a strong arm. What a gun on that extra two-point conversion. Well, that's just something that we worked on all day in practice this week is that once we get down the goal line, we're going to go out to quick slants, and it worked. You believe you can play in the NFL at QB? Most definitely. And the dream is to be in a Super Bowl. Right. Well, hey, with the, what he's accomplished so far in college, who's going to bet against it, guys? He's thrown the short passes very accurately and with the right velocity, and he's thrown the long passes and put air under the ball, and it just led Kevin Jordan just right. And they gave him a touchdown. I thought they were going to signal him out at the one-yard line because he just threw the ball into the stands. Kevin Jordan did. Well, he knows if he if he's in college football, it's a penalty for that. And if he's in the NFL, they're going to fine him. So he might as well do it in the All-Star game where it causes no problem. Kevin Jordan, uh, real close. 33 yards rushing. 
and two touchdowns. The Northern California Buick dealers will donate $2,500 in the player's name to the Shrine Hospital.